thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. The content of this video was taken from the Thera live stream uploaded on February 17th, 2024. So if you want to go see the full video, see all the matches we had and all of the rule explanations we did, go check that out in the description below or go find the video somewhere on the channel. Either way, thank you for watching and let's get on to the match. Come on, have a dragon. Come to me. I don't know where you put this. Be my boy. Tell him to screw off. Move, move. You are my original ace. I know, I even made you my ace before Steve did. No, you didn't. Well, in my mind, I did. <laughs> Your mind, you did. <laughs> okay. That's the first one in a real life TCG that made a hammer my main. Yeah, okay, yeah, there you're right. But Steve did it before you did. Steve did it before it was cool. Uh, anyways, <laughs> did you. Whoa! Okay! Um. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it then, actually. I'm gonna get one of those. Uh, can, can you move the two character cards right here off to the side to wherever they were before? I'm uh, working with no idea who Steve is. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll highlight this while you two casually fight it out. Um, Steve, as we said earlier, that there was an anime uh, where Oolong's the writing consultant I'm the main writer on. Steve is... When you compare to characters like uh, Hiro Kamado, Aika Manami, Shoji Yurei, Kiyoshi Mikado, and Hayate Yutaka, hell yeah, I remember all their full names, but um, when you compare to characters that actually sound like anime character names, and then you have Steve, who is like, also he doesn't... Compared to the other characters who also have anime hair, and then Steve doesn't have anime hair, and just literally has the most normal clothing in the world, and the most normalized name in the world, you would think that, uh, you guys can play while I'm talking about this, <laughs> what's it called, you would think that Steve is not a good character, but Steve is one of my favorite characters, and his ace is Hammer Dragon, and it's just a very funny thing. He, he's probably the most competitively viable character in there, by long shots, anyways, continue. I, I pick Tails, I don't do. I like how you. I like how you patiently. Why is it with it being tails every time too? What is it? Uh, sorry. I like how you patiently waited for me to finish talking about my favorite character before you actually started the game. <laughs> I, no, it's really come open. Okay, so someone's turn. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna <laughs> I wanna let this be clear. I can't really see any of your codes. I wanna let this be oh so he just got a crimson strength, aka he can get half the power. His cre actually uh kit, leave the game, come back. But uh because maybe that's what's happening. But um while we wait for that to happen <laughs> He goes the entirety of the last game without seeing a single copy of Tiresias. And then what is the first thing he draws? Uh, d no, uh, Kit, well, I was gonna say leave the game. Don't shuffle Wait, your- just stand with my hand. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm a gentleman, I'm a man of honor. Okay, let me promote you real quickly so you can draw your card. Do you see your hand now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Got you. Do you see the cards in his drop zone too? Me. Okay, so it's just that. Okay, cool. I, I passed the turn. Okay, are you done BSing? Oh my god. He sees a uh, safeguard, I believe, or childlike wrath, and he sees a uh, lone specter. He draws two cards. Oh, nope, the lag has come back. Okay, so it's just a temporary thing. Oh, I, I had enjoyed a lot of last one. Um, for the fun of it, I'll summon Childlike Wrath and attack. You fool! You fell for my trap! I think this. Oh. You fell for my trap. <laughs> it's, it's your turn. Good All right, draw. Not anyway, that's how I was saying. Fool! You fell for my trap! I summon the strongest creature in this song! Go! Dragon. Yeah, let's ignore the lie. Yeah, let's ignore the actual ace of the song who outpowers him and focus more on the fact that he's your ace. <laughs> ah, I summon the Crimson Draco Kid. Go! Crimson Draco Kid attack Child Like Rap! Okay. Uh, Crimson Draco Kid attack Child Like Rap! Wait, Kid. wait, doesn't he have to take a damage from the oh, okay, there we go. Sorry, I was logging. And there's Hammer Dragon with a gift check for 150. Okay. Gift check. Are you kidding me? Uh, Crimson Dragon weapon! Hammer Dragon's ability! Since he dealt a damage, I get to draw one card! Okay, small <laughs> small quote-unquote mistake here that doesn't technically matter the situation because both players know how to play it out. Uh, 
Kit took the damage before Oolong did his uh, gift check. Technically, the gift check happens in the damage. Again, we all know how to play it, so it doesn't really matter, but that is just like a heads up for rules. Okay, continue. Sorry. Okay. My turn. I draw. There you go. Hmm. If you, if you could see my face right now. I mean, I could just send you a picture of my face right now. I'm on my turn. You wow. want your turn? I see. <laughs> my Dang. turn. Pieces. Come on. Come on, Faith. Give me, give me two hammers. Oh. Crimson so. Draco Kid and Dragon Rider enters the field. So Crimson Draco Kid. Not, not voting well for me. So the Crimson Draco Kid, by paying one and destroying itself, can give another cre Crimson creature the ability to deal double the damage, or sorry, deal two damage at once. So if he were to pay one to destroy one Crimson Draco Kid, it could do two damage. That doesn't really help him here because we do the same damage regardless, but get him less attacks. But um, the reason it would help is like, say for example, he had Revan on his board, he and Crimson Draco couldn't hit a creature. Revan would be able to deal two damage, and then Dragon Rider can not work here, but basically get more numbers. Alright, now the Dragon attacks with a gift check. Can you imagine if it did double the damage? There is a card that I does. Could, you could kill someone if you got the right cards. There is actually a card that can do double damage, just not in the trial songs. How the Dragon attacks with a gift check? How much? 150. Fuck off. Gift check. Fire Blast. Go, Draco Kid. Okay. Damage check. No trigger. Crimson Draco Kid. Lag occurs. Damage check. No trigger. Dragon Rider. I see Oolong was going for that same plan I was going for earlier, weren't you, with the whole damage trigger trying to get gift check thing? Yeah, kind of. Fair. Hey, stand in draw. Well, once I got rushed down. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, so I think Oolong is just get. You have not lost a game today, have you, Oolong? Oh wait, no, you literally just lost the last. You, you literally just lost the last game. Never mind. Right. Okay, one. Well, yeah, that's good. Play Spears Blossom. <laughs> then I'll do it again. Well, yeah, because you won the first game too, I'll right? Do it again. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. I'm not good. This feels so <laughs> sad watching. I saw it. I just. <laughs> Judge! <laughs> He's moving his board! <laughs> no, we don't got any color mechanics in this game yet. No, we don't, so it's legal, I guess. For now. Yeah. I saw the Crimson Dragon Revan! Out of obligation. Out of obligation, he says. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to, alright? That's all. That's all it is. I just yeah. have to. Yeah, it's only the song's ace creature, you know, not Hammer Dragon. It's fine. I guess it's just a beat stick. Hammer can also be a beat stick and get me handcuffed at the same time. Yeah, but Hammer also costs pay to do that, so. I'm a me, so does Revan. Okay, yeah, but Revan's inherently stronger in terms of numbers. I'll see it to when I believe it. What do you mean you see it? It's literally the base power. 200 versus 150. I'll see it when I believe it. Okay, right. whatever. Go, have a dragon with gift check. Okay. Wait, no. No. Damn you! This is good dragon. The shield got dragon. Says the man that was cock blocking him 24 7 last game. Crimson <laughs> dragon, right? I'll take it. Damage check. Clustered Phantoms. Dragon Rider. 100. Clustered Phantoms. Crimson Draco Kid. 100. Crimson Draco Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I'm not facing Ruin Maker right now. <laughs> 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 Take a bit. Who's <laughs> your Hey! Finally! Hey! Wait, hey! What's in your hey, hey, we can do some stuff! Yeah, finally! Do you have anything good in your draw? I would check your draws. I was gonna lag like hell. Do you have anything good in there? No! <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happens when you don't draw creatures with Sauron. You lose, essentially. Uh, I end my turn. Uh, Wait, do you not have any- Wait, do you not have a single creature in there? Not worth summoning. What, what's in your drop zone that you could call? I have clustered phantoms, a safeguard, Draft, and that's it. Wow, yeah, no, you're right. You have no good options. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, you, you have good options if you didn't have a full board of creatures, but... Okay, I activate the Crimson Strength. Oh, I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> By this calling one in the color, I can reveal a creature from my head and add half its power to a creature on my board. No. I show Shield <laughs> Guard Dragon, and I give 150 power, so you guessed it. 
So this is to so this is to show it off. Crimson strength, like it says, gives half power. But shield guard dragon over here. So he's the one example we were talking about earlier, where he's a level three of the shield icon instead of a gift icon. And as his skill reads, he cannot be called and can only be used as a guardian. But in his defense, though, he has a higher base power even compared to Revan. Also, because we haven't gotten to show off Revan's skill at all, and we're probably not going to use Revan until later, because I think we're going to prioritize Tiresias. Uh, Revan, by paying two and ditching one, you can basically do what Crimson Strength does, but instead of giving half the power, it gives the full power. So, if you're to use Revan's yeah, skill on Shield Guard, it would give 300. I'm only explaining this because I don't think we're going to use Revan. I think we all agree that we should give Tiresias one more chance to show up. Alright, how am I going to attack for 300 with a gift check? No. Damn you! <laughs> Safeguard. <laughs> <laughs> no trigger. Alright, alright, fine. I'll get out of obligation. I'll attack with Revan last. <laughs> out of obligation? <laughs> okay, 100 power. You can block this. No, I'm just doing mental math. Alright, uh, it's good. Yeah, he's giving up on winning because he really can't now. Crimson Draco Kid. Hang on one card. That's fair. Crimson Draco Kid. <laughs> Revan attacks. Crimson Dragon Revan. <laughs> Out of obligation. Damage check. Hey, it's a damage. He can do it. He can damage trigger loop. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> so Revan won because one side just bricked. I I could have done shit. I could have done shit. So, the dragon responded to my calls. We are bounded together by fate. We are each other's half. He is my flame. Wh what? What? Alright, what other, other call game nonsense can I spread off? And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check us out.